Today guys we look at a brand new legendary to the game which wasn't a part of the 15 leaks for this DLC. It's a new SMG and I first saw this in used via Ember. I saw it and wanted it straight away. Luckily it's a challenge reward and today we check it out. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you guys enjoy it leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So playing through this DLC, fighting alongside Ember, you may have noticed she is using what looks to be a one-off legendary SMG. And that's correct, it is. When I first saw this I seriously hoped we could indeed land this weapon ourselves. And I can confirm that to be the case. And actually guys it's really easy to get. So firstly the weapon, let's check it out. It's called the Ember's Purge. It's a Maliwan SMG and well, I love this thing. So damage wise it offers 490, not bad at all. About average for what Maliwan SMGs do offer in this game. Accuracy is decent at 85%, handling at 58%, reload time of 2.4 seconds and an 11.09 per second fire rate. With a magazine size of 24, she is the only one who knows what it is to burn. Now I could be mistaken here but I do believe this to be a reference to the Finch and a tune they make called what it is to burn. So that's cool to know. With a plus 27% weapon charge speed and a 2.2 times weapon zoom. Now firstly using this it's a lot like the cloud kill just a fire variant. But this has a secret. Shooting continuously at the same enemy or a group of enemies it creates a lava pool which deals damage over time which is amazing. This lava pool after testing it on the handsome jackpot test dummy does about 9 or 10 ticks of damage literally equal to about 5% under a body shot. The lava pool doesn't by the way deal extra damage if it's created via getting critical hits either. It's just a set damage output. Now this Ember's Purge SMG is definitely one to consider if you are fans of weapons such as the Tsunami, the Cloud Kill and the Kibsworth Maliwan SMGs. I mean it's very similar in terms of the way this thing acts and its damage output. Probably the Tsunami may be a little bit uh, better DPS wise but that's a test for another video. But that Lava Pool Edition makes this thing more useful for more scenarios. I'd probably say this could be the new best Maliwan SMG in the game. I mean I know the Cutsman's up there, it's a fan favourite. And that thing has got ridiculous damage output. But that's a weapon for only a few instances. This one I feel you can use in many more scenarios. Now this SMG is a solid one and I'll give it a good 7.5 out of 10. So how is it obtained? Well guys, upon first meeting Ember, I believe certain challenges are unlocked. But in my opinion, if I were you, I'd complete this DLC campaign before deciding to chase this weapon as you need to locate in certain things further into the story and the whereabouts are on later stages of maps you unlock towards the end of this campaign. So within the handsome jackpot there are 5 things, basically statues in which you have to locate and place bombs for Ember and blow them up. These are located in multiple different areas and some you have to jump up to. Now each and every location I will showcase for you and how you get to them in a quick second. But when you do complete all five, you are mailed this weapon. Well, supposed to be mailed this weapon. For me, something glitched out, something bugged out. I never got it sent. I did this literally the day the DLC dropped and wasn't even aware of this weapon until I saw Eric's video on it earlier today. So I'm a little puzzled as what happened to me, but even so. But before we end, a massive shout out to MessiGula314 for supplying me this weapon for this video, so credit to him. So yeah guys, on screen now you'll see the locations to all of where these statues are and how you get to them. So I hope that helps you out. This in my opinion is definitely a weapon you should check out as I feel it could fit some great builds. Maybe some elemental Amaro builds. I mean this thing would be absolutely ridiculous with that. So yes, go and get these people. But on that note, we have come to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Ooh.
Back the maggot. 